So, we will uh, take some typical values of the different uh, surface tension values, which is nothing but your cohesive force. Okay. So, you have water, which is your H2O, and uh, the surface tension. Okay. Surface tension. So, the surface tension value for water is 0 0.075 Newton per meter because you know force per unit length. Okay. Similarly, the soap solution, soap solution, its surface tension is 0 0.03, okay, 0 0.03, almost half, okay. So, and mercury, okay, mercury, Hg. Its surface tension value is 0.4, so almost 10 times, okay, 0.4 Newton meter. Oh, okay, that means mercury has Highest. 10 times more surface tension or cohesive force as compared to water. That's why the um, the intermolecular force between the mercury molecules are very high. Yeah. That's why if you drop a mercury, uh, it will not spread. It will, not it, will spread. it will not wet the surface. Instead, it will it will behave like a solid uh, ball kind of thing. Because there is a lot of cohesive force, that's why it is behaving almost like a solid mercury. So, the important thing is between water and soap solution, okay. So, when you mix uh, some uh, soap uh, detergent powder, when you mix with water, it, uh, it can, its uh, surface tension will decrease, mm -hmm. okay. So, when the surface tension decreases from 0 0.07 to 0 0.03, uh, it will, uh, so, uh, because of lesser surface tension, uh, what is the cleaning process? The dirt get accumulated inside the small small pores in your uh, clothing, okay? Or when you, even if you are when you are washing your face, there are some small some you, your face has some pimples and pores and all. So the uh, what the soap solution will enter into the pores. So it will enter or wet your surface more when the surface tension is less, mm. okay? So by using your soap solution. Because its surface tension is less, yes. it is able to weight your uh, face um, much better as compared to normal water. Okay, so by adding soap to the water, whatever soap solution you are preparing, its surface tension is less. That's why it is enter into the small, small pores. It can clean the clothes, it can uh, wash your face and all that. Okay, so um, that is the important. And another very important uh, real world phenomena is like the soup. Okay. You will uh, find your hot soups very tasty, right? Or uh, any soup or any even hot food, it is very tasty. But uh, the uh, when it is cold, it is not tasty. Why? Because at higher temperature, surface tension is less. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So surface tension, uh, surface tension sigma uh, decreases, decreases with increase in temperature, increase in temperature. Okay, so um, let us say your soup, okay, it may have surface tension say 0 0.07 uh, Newton per meter. If it is like say 60 degree centigrade or whatever, it may come down to 0 0.05 Newton meter or whatever. Yeah. So with decrease in surface tension, it will spread um, completely, uh, it will weight your uh, tongue like anything, okay. So uh, when you, it will spread your uh, tongue. So you will find it more tasty. Yes. Okay, so that is another real world uh, example of uh, uh, interpreting surface tension. Okay, so surface yeah. tension, you just remember that it is nothing but the tensile strength of the fluid, like yeah. tensile strength of the solid, like this is also cohesive force of the tensile strength of fluid. Right. Okay, so that is the real world and uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so another important uh, uh, thing related to surface tension is capillarity. Okay, mm. so capillarity we just discussed what is capillarity. Okay, 